Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. In the video today, we have a very important message, from Archbishop Pagano. This message was given to Archbishop Pagano, we encourage you all to ensure you watch this message to the end, we pray, and hope that this message will bring about the salvation of souls, Amen. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil, Amen. Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you, blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death Amen. Come Holy Spirit fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your Spirit that we be created, and you renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit, instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit, we may be truly wise, and always enjoy your consolations through Christ our Lord, Amen. Message of the Most Holy Virgin Mary to Archbishop Pagano, August 23, 2023. Your digestive fires if they have to move these pancreas are needed, circulation must happen, nutrients must spread across the body, wastes have to be removed from the cellular level for everything to happen you need movement. If you stop the moment, then you will see the body will not be able to sustain life. So whether the flow is full flow or is it restricted or constipated flow, this is the aspect we are looking at. If you generate gases below the navel, that is, if you eat certain types of foods, if you eat too much of tuberous material like potatoes, and other tuberous substances, you will generate gas, which is below the navel. Once you generate gas there, your prana between the navel, and the pit of the throat will not function as it should, and the dynamic dynamism levels in your system will go down. This is one reason those who wish to meditate, those who are students, and those who need to focus their mind, and stay awake for long periods of time. They should not eat those substances. This is happening across the world today's as the world or as the fools think they're becoming more and more modern. Their food gets older and older and older. Fresh food, is for the uncivilized. If you're very civilized, you must go to a superstore buy a box there's a plastic, wrap, take it, and throw it knowing fully well it cannot be biodegrade. And the can is made of something else, usually plastic or aluminum or whatever from that. If you want, you can heat it in the microwave, which is one more bad thing you're doing, and eat. This may be minimum three months old. No, it was in the refrigerator. It is preserved, and they put preservative so that it doesn't go bad. That is a double mistake. Now, in the yogic tradition, if you cook anything maximum within one and a half hours you must consume it. If there are certain types of items, up to four hours is okay. Beyond that, you don't touch it. Doesn't matter how tasty it is, you don't touch anything because then you will develop gases in the system. Gas is not only in the stomach that you will feel, obviously, but you will develop values in the system which will work against your pranava that means your respiratory action, and your thought process, and your sense of smell will get lowered over a period of time. When you cook the fruit to digest the food, all the ingredients necessary for digestion are not in the body alone. The food also brings the enzymes. When you cook the food, you are largely destroying these enzymes, minus the enzymes when you eat. Now, the body has to struggle to reconstruct that part that has been destroyed, and then only it can digest normally first one one, and a half hours after eating it tends to take the body down. After that, slowly it recovers. So food is for energy but we are making the food in such a way, that it takes away energy in the first one, and a half hours only after that. Slowly it comes back anyway. However, good your digestive process is still you can never recon reconstitute all the enzymes that we have destroyed by cooking only partly we can do that. When we say fruit, we must understand fruit is one aspect, which nature itself intends to be felt suppose you are ill in a hospital let's say you're in a hospital bed nobody brings you chicken biryani isn't it? They'll bring fruits. Because even your friends, and relatives understand that okay, you're eating all that, you got sick at least now you eat sensibly. That's a message, 
So fruit can do miraculous things to the body sufficient consumption of fruit can do great things to the system one can become very alive and active no matter what is your lifestyle. The fruit that you get in the market today. We don't know what it is filled with there is a little bit of a problem. There is no way you can eat anything today, which is not chemically infested. If you're eating very organic food, it's little organic chemicals they're using it's come to that place it's very difficult to eat something that's just grown in the wild forest you can pluck out something and eat that's very very little not even a small percentage of people are capable of eating that anymore. It's all from the marketplace and what goes into the marketplace is all about more. Not about what because I clearly noticed this the kind of country fruits that we used to eat when we were young and today the farm grown fruits that are coming to us even in India. Here it's another matter altogether even in India they're not the same they're much bigger. Rounder, better looking but this is like Botox. This doesn't work. I can clearly feel it's not the same level of strength and aliveness in it simply because this is made for the market. Not for the man and these fruits are essentially made for the market. This doesn't mean that they're totally a waste, but they don't have the same nutrient that it used to have so we may have to fortify it with some amount of other food. We must check and see what kind of fruits you're exposed to, and seasonally. There are a variety of fruits, it's very incredible that what kind of fruits the land produces at a certain time is most suitable for the system. There's a lot of study about this how for those seasons when this cold. When it's hot. When it's the moisture is very high, the right kind of fruit comes out of the earth if you're eating from that area. But now you're eating fruit that comes from New Zealand. This is another matter. If you're eating from the land around you, you will see the right kind of fruit is coming to you at the right season, it's the best thing to eat at that time. Keep inner peace so that you would be enlightened by the most holy trinity. I bless you, beloved children of our King, and Lord Jesus Christ, Saint Michael the Archangel. Hail Mary most pure conceived without sin. We have come to the end of today's message. Brothers and sisters, we are sure that this message blessed you, so we are hoping that you could share it with others. And also please go to the comment session now, and thank Archbishop Vagano for this message, and lastly please hit the like button. May the good Lord bless us all, and our families, Amen.